Hi guys. It is a blah winter night here in the end times in the shithole town of Austin, Texas here on this gloomy Wednesday night, December 12th, 2018. Are you shaking your hat off again? Anyway, uh, I should be at a picking party in a potluck with my clueless lovable friends in South Austin, but uh, this damn Christmas tree lot job is hammering my brain. It's just, I mean guys, it's taking a serious fucking toll on my life. I don't know if I'm done with it, if I have one more day or two more days. I, I, I just, uh, I, I've reached my limit. So I don't know what's going on with the fucking Christmas tree job for the Optimus Club. Good fucking God. But anyway, uh, I'm going to put this little doll down. Uh, let him go on. Let Santa go on to bed. Sancho Claus, go on to bed. So anyway, guys, I'm not, uh, it's only Wednesday night, about 11.30. It's pretty close enough to be doing a depressed collapsitarian whine. But I'm going to save that for tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to sleep on it, although I'm ready to go on one. Uh, so anyway, just to, just, just a, a quick whine recap, my fucking computer has now crashed. And I've, I've got some sort of steam-powered backup, but right now uh, I have got no way to get into Collapse Chronicles. There's nothing wrong with Collapse Chronicles. There's nothing YouTube's doing is I cannot access Collapse Chronicles for whatever reason with this computer that I've got. And of course I have no Skype, so I have no telephone, but I think I still have access to Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I don't even know, guys. I, I don't even know for sure whether I'm going to be uh, able to put this rat on. So this is kind of a test before I do a full wine tomorrow. So what I was planning to do uh, today before heading to the goddamn Christmas tree lot uh, was to do what I'm sure every other Doomer has already done today. I, I, I'm quite sure that uh, certainly Paul Beckwith, I understand I'm getting the idea that Paul Beckwith is no longer speaking to me. I think I've gotten on Paul Beckwith's shit list. Paul, if you're listening to this, I'm sorry if I got on your shit list, brother. I am on so many shit lists. Uh, anyway, I am sure Paul Beckwith and Kevin Sandbloom and probably uh, Sandy or Antonio over at Environmental Coffee House. I'm sure Margot is talking about this right now. I, on the way to the damn Christmas tree lot, I turn on NPR and it's their big story of the day. It's in the New York Times. It's in the Washington Post. It's in every goddamn uh, mainstream media outlet and every that. We're fucked. We're fucked. And I, of course, what I'm talking about is the Arctic report card, the 2018 Arctic report card, where uh, half of the mainstream media today is talking about, we're, we're fucked people. You know, I can sit here and just repeat what every other doomer and mainstream media outlet uh, has been yakking about all day. Is that dog and pony show still going on over there in Poland today? I don't even know if, if those fuckers, you know, I hope it is 
to have the 2018 Arctic report card come out giving uh, humanity an F. We got an F on our report card, guys. An F for fucked. We get an F for fucked on the Arctic report card. So I don't know whether we can go back to class uh, and retake the class. Uh, we, we are completely, totally fucked. Pull your goddamn head out of your ass. You know, I, I actually managed with all of my scrambling around in a panic the mor in this morning, unbelievably, unbelievably, with, with all of my computer and Skype problems here in the collapse of global industrial civilization in my own life, I managed to get just enough bubble gum and duct tape together to somehow cobble together the, uh, the, the high-tech gadgetry to have a, an excellent interview uh, with the diva of doom herself, the doomer chick, non-parallel, uh, however you pronounce that word, uh, Gail Zawacki. I love that name, Gail Zawacki. You know, she's this doomer chick. Uh, best known for all of her videos and stuff about dead trees. Uh, we got quite the laugh that, the, that a dead tree salesman for the Optimus Club <laughs> was, was, was interviewing uh, Gail Zawacki, the diva of doom, uh, as, as global industrial civilization was collapsing around us. We, we didn't, uh, we were talking about, I, I'm afraid it was either before or after the actual interview while we were just chatting between the two of us uh, off camera, which of course is when the best stuff happens, is when the camera isn't running. I think we were talking about the Arctic uh, report card. You know, Gail gets it. Uh, we're fucked. A and she fully realizes this. And anyway, I highly encourage you to listen to that interview. Uh, assuming civilization lasts until Sunday, I'm going to be... Uh, putting that interview on Collapse Chronicles on Sunday and then I'll repost it here on, uh, on Tuesday. But anyway, I'm getting off track. It's the, the Arctic report card. There, there, there's nothing I really need to add to it, 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 it except we're fucked. And anybody at this point reading this news about how fucked we are how much more fucked, much more, much quicker than previously thought we are on this planet, uh, then, then, then obviously I am, I am having a failure to communicate. There, there's still, just, just, uh, just, just in case anyone is thinking that that ham bone is uh, going to, over to the to the other side or whatever you want to call the uh, the ass licking toady cult. There is no evidence that I have seen or that Gail Zawacki has seen anywhere in the Arctic report card or anything else that humans are going to be extinct by the year 2026. This is what Gail Zawacki has to say about anybody suffering that delusion. Caution detected. Take precautions. But anyway, as I think she said, we're going to wish we were extinct, maybe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, you, you're, you're going to wish you were fucking extinct uh, in, in the year 2026. Oh, God. I wish I was fucking extinct right now. So anyway, I, I wish to hell I had, you know, I should never leave the goddamn house. 
with uh, out my camera but uh, I made that big mistake because I was running late and I had to take my crashed computer over to my uh, over to the computer repair geek uh, before heading to the Christmas tree lot so while I'm sitting there stuck in traffic going to the to the computer geek I'm listening to uh, NPR and they're interviewing this woman I think she was the lead author of the uh, I think she was the lead author of the Arctic report card and I'm sitting here listening to this woman just you know for 10 or 15 it was an excellent interview I was very jealous of it uh, so you know the interviewer whoever she was did a good job I'm not I'm not saying that so I'm wondering as I'm listening to these two women talking back and forth the, the, the mainstream media and face it NPR is mainstream the mainstream media journalist interviewing uh, this uh, climatologist uh, sounding kind of like Gail Zawacki you know for about 12 minutes uh, the woman sounding like Gail that we are completely fucked and then of course they get to the closing you know the closing 90 seconds or two minutes and even they're on NPR and they put on the little fucking jack off uh, happy ending this out of fucking nowhere this woman the lead author or, or one of the uh, she do the lead author well one of the authors of the Arctic report card and knows goddamn well how fucked we are the woman knows goddamn well we're fucked we're not pulling out of this it's not a matter anymore uh, of, of if humans and every other species of earthling we share the planet with are going extinct it's only a matter of when and it, it, as Gail was saying what I've been saying uh, you know for the past eight years whether it's 10 years 50 years or 100 years what fucking difference does it make at this point guys our, our fucking goose is cooked and we all goddamn know it and, and, and this doomer chick uh, writing the uh, Arctic report card knows as well as anybody on this planet how fucked we are. That she's fucked. Everybody she knows is fucked. If she has any kids or grandkids, you better believe they're fucking fucked. Uh, and, and then in the last 90 seconds, uh, 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 of this interview about how fucked we are uh, you know I just refuse to give up hope I refuse to give up hope that we uh, that I'm still optimistic that we're going to rise to the challenge pull your fucking head out of your ass no one's buying your shit yeah, I, I'm not going to call you a clueless fucking moron. Uh, you know goddamn well, woman, how fucked we are. Cut the shit. You know, I was, I was just, I, I was like praying that, that this uh, interviewer on NPR was just going to break in and say, Lady, cut the fucking shit and, and level with us. Are we fucked? God, I would, uh, wouldn't, that, wouldn't that have been uh, a great moment in NPR history? But no, they're just going to leave it. Let, let's wait to see the 2019 Arctic report card. Anyway, guys, uh, I am whipped. I got to take Santa Claus on a... Uh, well, I was going to take him on a walk, but what do you guys think? Uh, does Santa Claus look like he's ready to go out on a cold winter night? Or is Santa Claus uh, 
Santa Claus, are you ready to uh, go take a walk? Or are you, are you saying, Dad, just wrap it up and call it a night? Tell the folks, smoke them if you got them. We all know why. Finish your goddamn margarita and come to bed. I think that's a wonderful idea, Sancho. I'm going to finish my margarita and call it a night. Smart dog. Bye, guys.